All right, so <laughs> it has been crazy. I mean, like when I say crazy, crazy. Like I'm trying to literally juggle so much. And so recently I've been trying to adapt the same processes that I teach teachers, you know, my program teaching my design, I've been adapting those processes within my personal life. It's starting to get somewhere it's starting, but i um, literally just trying to have some stuff, you know, run on autopilot while other stuff, I just, you know, work smarter, not harder. And so I've been adapting some of those practices into my personal life. I can go more in depth with that in another video, but right now, y'all, it's almost Christmas and everything just seems like it's so chaotic. This weekend we gathered with all of my sorority sisters and all of their husbands and children and we had a good time y'all. The next day my other line sisters that weren't able to make it also came over and we had Christmas all over again. And so now here we are one week right before Christmas and I feel like Everything looks a mess. My entire office, y'all, looks like the North Pole. Literally, the North Pole. So I have all these vlogs that I need to do so that I can keep you guys, you know, updated on what's going on. But I saw this comment. So Michael asked, did I ever get on the vendor list? And can I make an updated video on how I did that? So I wanted to dedicate this video about how I got on the vendor list as an educational consultant and kind of what happened behind the scenes. So to catch you up, yes, I did get on the vendor list. Now I'm not on all of the vendor list with all of my surrounding major counties um, because I saw it. I saw that it's really a fairly simple process. I feel like my anxiety was overcomplicating it because it just was something that I did not know. So I think the fear of the unknown kind of got in the way. But, but let me take you a little bit up behind the scenes on what I did because you can also do the same things. And for those of you guys that, you know, want to get into educational consulting and want to get, you know, into, you know, behind the scenes, I do work with people one-on-one. -on -one. I work with teacherpreneurs. I work with teacher leaders. I even work with teachers that want to just kind of get out of the classroom because, you know, I was an administrator for so long. So I do do that one-on-one -on -one with clients. So if you're interested in that, I do that as well. All right, but <laughs> this is not a promo. I promise this is not a promo, but let me show you kind of what I did in regards to getting on vendor list. So every state has some sort of marketplace that is available for all vendors. So I found that out literally through Googling and calling people. <laughs> To be honest, like I have a mentee, she's amazing. And she was like, you have to get on the state vendor list. And that allows you to be able to work and operate within your state. And so what I did was literally continued to call. And then I called this guy. He was so helpful. He was like, oh, it's called, you know, the marketplace. And, you know, this is what you do. And he kind of like gave me the steps. And then I applied. Of course, I put like my EIN number. I put all of my business information in here. And now from here, any county that has a job, they kind of literally put it in this marketplace so you can go to like bid opportunities um, and you can bid on certain jobs so these are all of the opportunities within the state of georgia that is out there and so then you know you can kind of filter them based on what it is that you do there's a lot of like maintenance stuff in here that doesn't really apply to me in addition to that if you like jump on google you could go to any county's vendor list so type in i don't know um i don't know rockdale county vendor registration see it automatically comes up um and then you type that in it will literally tell you how to register as a Rockdale County vendor. Um, and so you would do this within all of the surrounding school districts and actually wanted to actually type in Rockdown, Rockdale County schools. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So once you type in the Rockdale County Schools, it shows you exactly how to get on their vendor vendor list. And honestly, what I found out is a lot of these vendor lists literally take you, I don't know, like 
20 to 30 minutes to fill out and to get on. Um, and so they're really not that complicated. And you see like they have like different proposal dates and so forth that are on here. So those are, you know, different bidding opportunities. Now, <laughs> the real question is what, what have I done now that I'm actually on the vendor list, right? Like I got on the vendor list this fall and I felt like, to be honest, it was very overwhelming trying to do, you know, getting into schools, networking, creating my program, teaching by design, doing syllable boot camp, doing the online business, creating content for you guys. And I was overwhelmed and I'm just going to be real and transparent, very overwhelmed. And so what I ended up doing is I ended up literally trying to simplify my life. Like the same way I teach a lot of my clients to just kind of like simplify their teaching practices within reading. I did the same thing in my life. Let's make my bed. Baby, what are you doing? I'm making my bed. I'm going to You're making your bed? I'm going to well, You're making so much noise okay. in here. Okay, well make your bed, baby. Because you're doing too much. But look, look. I cleaned up. Clean. You did. You've been cleaning up your floor. Somebody getting ready for Christmas. Hey, look. They all make Christmas toys over Oh, awesome. I told y'all we did like Christmas with my line sister. So she has been enjoying opening up gifts. But anywho, <laughs> I guess I'm about to record in here a little bit. Um, but what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? But yeah, so it was just a lot. And so I had to simplify literally my business and I had to simplify what I was doing. And so what I decided to do was to spend the remaining part of 2022 just focusing on getting teaching by design to run on autopilot. And so I don't know if you caught the vlog, if not go back and rewatch it. I did a vlog about how I created my own science of reading phonics curriculum. I've been doing that. Like that my friends has been a lot of work. I'm just like at a point where I have to start doing the very things that I teach people to do which is to like simplify their life and because I have so much anxiety about networking and stuff I had to do what works best for my mental health so I spent the rest of 2022 creating the curriculum and then really creating best practices within my business. And so now I have the foundation, I have my packaging, I'm officially ready to, you know, start going into schools. I have exactly what I would teach, but then I also have my program because I really realized and I had like that, that moment of self-reflection that I really, really like my program. Like I like what I'm doing and how I'm able to help teachers all over the world out of their normal environment. I don't know how that angle was. I feel like it was like really close up. <laughs> But I'm able to help teachers more within my program. And so I literally spent the rest of 2022 and I'm probably going to be spending the entire month of January just making sure that teaching by design kind of runs on autopilot so that as I focus into, you know, getting into schools, getting contracts, that my program literally can kind of run in the background and is very successful because... Y'all know that's my baby. <laughs> that is my baby. Um, and I love, I love my program. Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't know how to make this work. I just had to switch to my computer real quick because this thing was not working. <laughs> I was doing too much. I was doing too much. I was, I was doing too much trying to get the different angles. My, my camera was like, no ma'am. So we're just going to finish the rest of this this vlog <laughs> on the computer so basically pbd is my baby and so i really like what i have you know kind of set the foundation on within my program and so now you know in order to work with me i feel like god has given me a lot of clarity when it comes to my business and how i'm able to help 
literally teacher leaders in addition to teachers and homeschool parents. And he's created an avenue and given me vision for something so much greater than what I even thought. And so, no, I'm not where I want to be. No, I'm not where I thought I would be at the end of 2022. Like this time last year, I was like, man, I'm going to have all of these clients and da 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 I had big plans, y'all, big plans. And so now I'm like, okay. 2023 is my year. And so <laughs> um, that's where I am. But to answer Michael's question, I am on vendor list. That step has been accomplished. And I've even created my what I call menu of services. Um, and so I can show y'all what that looks like really quick. So when you go to my website, this is what it kind of looks like. You know, woo, woo, you have all of that. So um, at the top, there's a big work with me. <laughs> and so when people click, you know, work with me, then how they can work with me is all laid out. And so the clarity I, I really was given is how to divide up my services between my live support and consulting services and my on-demand support and courses. And so this way I'm able to do everything that I love. And so with the live support, there is, you know, my signature program with one-on-one -on -one consulting and then professional developments for schools and then what I have found I had a lot of teacher leaders teacherpreneurs administrators that were wanting me to give them one-on-one -on -one advice and kind of help them do professional development so like hey you do a great job on the internet help me and so I work with people one-on-one -on -one. I have one client who literally has her own tutoring business and she's like hey I need you to teach me. <laughs> and so I'm able to now like help people with kind of all things education. So with that, I do not just accept anybody. I do have a call to make sure that, you know, I'm the best fit for them and they're a good fit for me. And so I have all of those live, you know, consulting opportunities in addition to my on-demand support. So that's my signature program that I do month to month as well as the course because there's a whole six module course. And then I have syllable bootcamp Camp, which is all about explicit and systematic finance instruction for upper grades. And then, of course, I also do speaking arrangement, guest appearances, and much more. Um, for my professional development, like I said, I got clarity with that. If schools want to book me, I do have a training teaching series. So these are my professional development packages that I currently offer. So you have decoding skills, which is teaching children how to read with structured literacy. I have a program for lower grades and a program for upper grades, um, which is like a professional development package that I would do in schools. In addition to that, I have mastering teaching grade level standards through comprehension. So the package of you know, professional development allows me to break down comprehension strategies and so forth. And then I have increasing reading achievement in children with data-driven instruction. So that is a great pair to go with the other packages. Plus, plus I also have my signature teaching rollout program of my entire program, Teaching by Design. I can also do that in schools. And that's titled Preventing Burnout and Literacy by Giving Teachers Confidence in Managing Effective Reading Instruction. And so schools are able to now book me then by doing like a pitch or so forth. They're able to see which package actually fits their needs. And so I've gotten the clarity as far as packaging with schools. I do have what I offer. You can have me in person or virtual. I offer both. Now this is a school that I helped go from a D-rated school to a B-rated school. So this school was on the at-risk list in the state of Georgia, and it was literally ranked a 69. For those of you guys that don't know, schools are literally rated based on the state standardized test, and there's some other factors in it, but the test is pretty much the majority of the score, um, and that school was at a 69. Then it was a B-rated school at the end of two years. It reached a score of an 82, so that's exactly what I want to do with other schools as I want to help all the schools, all struggling schools, be able to increase by helping their teachers literally prevent burnout in reading and also allow their children to achieve great things. I thank God, you know, just for that clarity. But I'm on the vendor list and I look forward to getting into schools. Like I said, I kind of pumped the brake so that maybe that's why I never gave y'all an update. But Thanks for games for keeping me in check, Michael. So I did get on vendor list. I do have my manual services. And so 
like I said, now with this new vlogging schedule, you know, I vlog every Monday. I put out a video every Wednesday and then we do the lives every Saturday. So now with this new schedule, you guys will see a lot more of the behind the scenes. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, as far as getting on vendor list, dealing with anxiety, then please, please, please make sure you check out this video because I literally tell you everything in that video.